Today, we're diving into a groundbreaking development in space exploration that promises to change how we travel to Mars. In this video, we will explore the Pulsed Plasma Rocket, PPR, an innovative propulsion system funded by NASA and developed by Howe Industries. This would cut the travel time to Mars down to just two months. We'll discuss how this technology could revolutionize space travel in general, make missions safer, and open up new possibilities for human exploration of the Red Planet. So without further ado, let's get started. The Pulsed Plasma Rocket, or PPR, is set to redefine our approach to space travel. At its core, it uses a fission-based nuclear power system to generate thrust, making it vastly more efficient than current propulsion methods. To understand the significance of this, let's take a quick look at the history of propulsion technologies. Space propulsion has come a long way since the early days of chemical rockets. Traditional rockets, while powerful, are limited by their fuel efficiency and the massive amounts of propellant needed for long-duration missions. Now moving to the PPR, a game changer with a high specific impulse, or ISP. But what exactly is ISP and why does it matter? Specific impulse is a measure of how effectively a rocket uses its propellant. The higher the ISP, the more thrust you get from a given amount of fuel. The newly pulsed plasma rocket's high ISP means it can achieve greater speeds without requiring excessive fuel, making it ideal for deep space missions. This efficiency stems from the use of nuclear fission, which generates immense energy by splitting atoms. This process is not only powerful, but also more sustainable for long-term space travel. Comparing this new system to other advanced propulsion systems highlights its advantages. Ion drives, for instance, provide efficient thrust by ionizing and accelerating particles, but they lack the high thrust necessary for manned missions. Solar sails, on the other hand, harness the sun's radiation for propulsion, offering a renewable energy source, but their low thrust makes them impractical for rapid travel. Antimatter propulsion, while theoretically promising the highest efficiency, is currently far from feasible due to production and storage challenges. So, the PPR stands out by combining high efficiency and significant thrust, making it a practical solution for rapid and sustainable space travel. This innovation is not just about reaching Mars faster, it's about enabling a new era of exploration. The development of this propulsion system has been a rigorous process, marked by significant milestones and technical advancements. The project, funded by NASA under the Innovative Advanced Concept Program, recently moved from Phase 1 to Phase 2, signifying substantial progress. During Phase 1, the focus was on understanding the neutronics of the propulsion system, designing the spacecraft, developing the power system, and necessary subsystems, analyzing the capabilities of the magnetic nozzle, and determining optimal trajectories. This phase laid the groundwork by proving the feasibility of the PPR concept and outlining the technical requirements for its development. Phase two aims to build on these foundations. The objectives include optimizing the engine design, conducting proof of concept experiments, and developing a comprehensive spacecraft concept for crewed missions to Mars. So, this phase is crucial for addressing the practical challenges of implementing the PPR in a real-world scenario. One of the key technical details of the PPR is its magnetic nozzle, which channels the plasma generated by nuclear fission to produce thrust. This nozzle must withstand extreme temperatures and magnetic fields, ensuring efficient and reliable operation. The proof-of-concept experiments planned in Phase 2 will test these components under simulated space conditions validating their performance and durability. One of the most significant advantages of the PPR is its ability to reduce travel time to Mars from the current six to nine months down to just two months. However, this drastic reduction in travel time has profound implications for the feasibility and safety of manned missions. Shorter travel times mean reduced exposure to the harsh conditions of space including galactic cosmic rays and solar radiation, which pose significant health risks to astronauts. The PPR's capability to support heavier spacecraft 
allows for additional shielding to protect the crew, enhancing their safety and well-being during the journey. Beyond Mars, this propulsion system opens up possibilities for exploring the outer planets, moons, and even interstellar space. For instance, missions to Jupiter's moon Europa, which is believed to have a subsurface ocean, could benefit from the PPR's high efficiency and thrust, enabling more extensive exploration in less time. Moreover, the environmental and ethical considerations of using nuclear propulsion in space cannot be ignored. The potential risks associated with launching nuclear materials into space must be meticulously managed to prevent any environmental contamination. Additionally, the ethical implications of deploying such technologies in space exploration require careful consideration, ensuring that safety and sustainability are prioritized. This new propulsion system bridges the gap between current propulsion systems and futuristic concepts, providing a practical and efficient solution for the immediate future of space travel. Its development underscores the critical role of international collaboration in advancing space exploration technologies. More importantly, it includes the potential to establish a permanent human presence on Mars. Enabling faster and safer travel could support the creation of a sustainable habitat on Mars, facilitating ongoing human exploration and scientific research, which aligns with NASA's long-term objectives and could herald a new era in space exploration. In conclusion, this innovative propulsion system, funded by NASA and developed by Howe Industries, combines the best of current technologies with practical advancements to open new frontiers for humanity. The journey to Mars in just two months is no longer a distant dream, but a tangible possibility, thanks to the groundbreaking work of scientists and engineers dedicated to pushing the boundaries of human exploration. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more exciting updates on the latest developments in space exploration. Together, we can continue to reach for the stars and uncover the mysteries of the universe.